My name is Aliyah Vinek. I work at the Minnesota Historical Society and I facilitate some community learning programs and I'm really excited about the Powderhorn Park podcast project we've been developing this spring. So the program is all about capturing the stories of people who live here and who have memories and experiences they want to share at Powderhorn Park. So over the past few months, students from Pillsbury House have been interviewing uh, people who have lived here for a long time, people who are newer residents in the neighborhood, and in particular we've heard about sports at the park, more recent sports like wrestling and the football program, um, and also older sports. We had um, some very successful speed skaters here in the 30s and 40s. Students have also learned about festivals that we have every year from 4th of July to the May Day Parade, and some of the stories and experiences are the students' own. So it's been a real diverse uh, range of stories and experiences, but they all speak to the really unique qualities of this park. Well, I think with the podcast here being at Pottahorn Park and in the community, it's going to be a great um, tool to show history, historic significance in a community. It allows uh, community members to give their their experience through their eyes and their vantage point that they've lived here for you know years and years from young to old. And I think it's it's a great um, time capsule, if you will, to promote Pottahorn community and and what the, what the community means to the park. I think it's an amazing collaboration between PBNA and the History, uh, History Center and uh, Powderhorn Park and the uh, Pillsbury House because of, you know, the kids become like the bridge between the storytellers and the programs and then, you know, they get to experience the whole process of creating this podcast and, uh, you know, sometimes they say like, oh, I don't want to do it, but once they're there, I think they realize you know how much um, expense they're getting and uh, I think it's a valuable thing that they do. Well uh, my role as a community organizer was connecting Alia Binick from the Minnesota History Center to the Pillsbury House and the park and all the resources the park has to offer for this project. Um, it was amazing um, working um, with the kids from the Pillsbury House we took them to the Minnesota History Center. Um, I was present during the recording recordings. It was uh, an amazing experience. Um, I also did some interpreting, and I hope the kids enjoyed the project. Uh, it presented a great opportunity to get acquainted with the history of their neighborhood and talking to um, elders in the neighborhood, and also the experience of being in camera. Well, uh, I started doing the involvement with uh, the Idea Works program, teaching the kids about you know using the boards, using uh, signal flow, all of the DAW system stuff like that. Um, came out of IPR, just graduated December. Uh, doing this podcast, we sat here and we did the sound design for it. So I helped with the mic placements. I helped with the kids learning how to record it. I helped with mixing the vocals as well, just as well as editing. Um, I mean, anything that's got to do with sound, I'm your guy. I'm Steven Michaels. Uh, I do, I, I make beats here and also I have recorded myself here. So I kind of know a little bit about the technical stuff of it. I learn as I go. Right. We had an opportunity to, uh, to interview several adults uh, in the podcast. Uh, did you think it was going to be that way? I mean, what, did, what was your thoughts about doing the interview? Um, I thought it was going to be a really, really small room. And it was nice, it was fun. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, interviewing adults? It was a good experience and I had a lot of fun and it was fun because I got to practice inter my interviewing skills. Have you ever been in a studio before and didn't you? No, I've like never that been. Yeah. Would you like to do it again sometime? Yeah. Great. Uh, with the podcast. Tell me a little bit about your experience with that and what do you think about it? It was fun. I liked it. It was a good experience because you get to try new things. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. I was really, really nervous when I went there the first time. I don't know why. I don't know how. But I was very scared and nervous. I got I was really sweaty. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. You did a really good job. You did a great job.